have a nice economically priced bass by Sterling from Music Man. And everything is good except, oops, one of the tuning machines busted off. So we're going to go ahead and uh, replace that, do a little video, and hopefully this will help other folks in the future. It's very simple repair. The key thing was finding out the, uh, the right tuning machines that matched. So I'll include that in this video. Thanks. That it broke off inside there. And then um, looking at the tuning pad itself, kind of the same thing. Hopefully you'll be able to see that now. So again, I'm still able to use that to wind the strings so I can take the string off. So I'll be back. Fortunately, this does go on even though it broke off to where I can, uh, even though it's somewhat difficult, I can unwind the string. So there's that piece and I will finish that up and, and share it with you. From there, it's going to just really be removing the screws um, and then putting the new one on. And um, here is the new one. And I will include the information on um, what I ordered and where. This is the screwdriver size I'm using for what it's worth. Uh, it's a Craftsman. Just pull up my toolbox. <laughs> the screws removed again, lefty loosey. And we go ahead and pull, just pull it out. And you can see you've got the bushing on the inside. And fortunately, the bushing and this cover are the same size for the new one, which the set came with um, all the hardware for installation, including the screws. Now this configuration, the three left, the one right, um, I could not find it. So I had to do the next best thing. I've got a two left, two right. Um, again, I just need to replace the one, but this kit only cost 22 bucks plus tax um, on Amazon. I ordered Friday and got it on Sunday. Um, and it's practically, for purposes, an exact match. So um, there's the old one on the left and the new one on the right. And all we need to do is just put it in and put the screws in and we're done. So um, again, the tuning machines, uh, the brand name is Geiker, G-Y-K-E-R. And um, again, for the price, uh, the, they feel very solid. They're pre again, pretty much an exact match on the existing uh, machine heads that came with the guitar, the bass. So um, here we go to finish things off. So to try to keep as much as original, I'm going to go ahead and use the same screws of the exact same length that came with the package. So uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and I'll just drop in the tuning machine. And we'll just need to put in the screws from there. So let's see, it just drops right in perfectly. Again, we didn't have to change the, the coupler the, on the inside, and we are good to go. Just need to put the screws in now, and we'll be done. So again, just putting the screws in righty-tighty. And again, these dropped in perfectly. They matched exactly to what was uh, drilled for the stock machine head. So we're very fortunate this is going to be that much easier to complete. There we go. Installation is complete. We just need to restring the base and we will be good to go. And our little replacement machine head project is complete. Again, a key thing to this one was finding the matching tuning machines with the existing ones. I was fortunate to find these Geiker machine heads, locking tuning key pegs for jazz bass or precision bass. Um, once again, the fit and finish were perfect on this and really made it easy. I didn't have to remove this sleeve uh, to put in the new one. I just uh, dropped it in. I even used the same screws. So hopefully this was a little bit educational and helpful. Again, a simple project. Definitely need to do it on your own. Um, and hopefully you won't have to.